It's very vital that every individual understands the importance of hygiene and health. This is the basic spirit of a human structure. That hygiene, good hygiene leads to better health. You know, one's behavior makes a significant impact on the health of an individual going on to greater competence. This is where I think uh, teaching them good hygiene, good health from early childhood will make a significant impact as they grow up and their entrepreneurship and everything follows this. This is where I am very thankful for uh, Rocket to have started the first hygiene park, children's park in the village, which will make a significant impact. You know, it's unbelievable what they have created in the, in the village. It opens up, you know, as you see the children's face, every child is, you know, is so happy that they are learning something. Something else is forming in their mind to see how can they stay healthy and happy. I think the basis of all of this, I think, is what the hygiene park has brought. Hygiene is very important because there are a number of children uh, who, who lack of hygiene have uh, developed two major disorders. Two-thirds of the children's disorders are from diarrhea and pneumonia. I think this is where if their hygiene is practiced, you can prevent both of these major problems. That means you can eradicate two-thirds of the pediatric uh, health problems by hand washing. This is uh, the great thing that uh, Racket have done in my village program. Thousands of children have been benefited. But it's not only the children, huh? because sometimes the elders copy what children are doing. I wish the country adopts this, and so that children all over the country uh, will get this benefit of yeah, a park which is enjoyable, a park which will ignite their cognitive in, uh, intelligence. So I think uh, I'm very grateful for Rekit for having created such a park. So we were seeing the first low-hanging fruits and our association with Apollo and all the blessings from uh, Dr. Pratap Reddy, we saw it happening, we, we are seeing it flourishing and we have the request from at least seven states now. The next will be in Gorakhpur. Uh, in the Gorakhdhan Temple Trust is giving us the land for 100 years to put basically, you know, the play park there. The other states also like Uttarakhand is also, they have, uh, they have come to us and now we are actually partnering with them like in Chamoli district in uh, Uttarakhand. So we will be having the play park there. Like that, likewise, like, you know, we will be scaling it up and uh, but it's very important to measure. So is there is a change in the cognitive behavior of the kids? Uh, when we say about health, it, it's not just, you know, mere absence of disease or infirmity. It's basically, it's full well-being. And for that, it's important, like, you know, you have the proven results where we can say, okay, by doing this, by having these play parks, how we have changed the life of the kids. So we have some, uh, you know, interesting collaborations which are under pipeline with McKinsey. Uh, and, uh, you know, we, we will be coming up soon, like, you know, how to scale it up in a more efficient way, which will be a win-win for India and Bharatpur. 